you guys this is probably gonna go down as one of my favorite videos of the month because it is a compilation of all of the decorations of the entire month come and decorate with me come into my house and I'll show you how it went from this to this we completely transformed our home for the holidays and I want to take you with me for every single step of it this is like I said an entire compilation of the entire month there is many different days in here. It is how I decorated every single tree in our house. We have well over five trees in the house and how I took everything out from our storage and how we turned it into a winter wonderland. So obviously we went through the main candy cane tree, which I'm gonna share with you guys. And we have many different parts of the house, many different areas that I entirely covered and tons and tons and tons of lights. One of my favorite parts of the house is the bar cart. So I wanted to take you guys through how I did that. I cleaned the entire thing off. I wiped it down. I do plan on doing a deep clean with me after this video because the house needs it. There is glitter everywhere. So I got a super cute little dome type of thing to hold a mug or a candle. I got this Claus & Co tray from Michaels, which I love. That little Grinch tree is actually real. The cake stand is from Ray Dunn, of course. And then I got some little elves, a North Pole type of mailbox with a Santa Claus and some martini glasses, which I added some Christmas balls in. So you can see where I got my elf whenever we went shopping during our Christmas day in the life. If you haven't seen that yet, I will link it down below. And I, for the Claus & Co tray, it was so useful. I just put all of my alcohol bottles in there and I ended up jigging a couple things around. I added in the gingerbread plate from Disney World in here, as well as some rainbow multicolored fairy lights, which really, really added to the entire vibe of the tray. So it still really followed the peppermint Candyland theme that we have on the main floor. And I just really kept it to like a red and green type of theme. And I do love that Grinch tree. And in that little dome, I ended up putting a flameless candle, which turns on with a remote and I got it at Michael's. In a lot of the decorations that I did in the house, I just, I added real candy canes that I just got at our local drugstore and a couple gnomes and some candles. And on the bar cart, I thought that it was really cute how I could throw in the glasses and then any festive alcohol bottles. So I ended up getting a bottle of sparkling wine, like a Prosecco bottle, but it was all glittered out. I had on prep and landing while we were decorating and I have these little prep and landing teddy bears that I actually hung from the clock. Prep and Landing is one of my favorite Christmas movies. I absolutely love it and it was just so perfect. So I ended up adding them to that big clock in our house. So then I set up the village. The village has been an ongoing growth process throughout our lives. We collected many, many pieces. Some of the pieces are by department, I think it's called Department 56, which are the Disney pieces, which I absolutely love. And the little Minnie Mouse holding the balloon was a new one this year. We have the Coco Cups. That, those pieces are from Limax. The ones that move are from Limax. And then there's some Grinch pieces in there. There's some the popcorn factory, they all have to do with food. So there's like sweets and candy and baking shops. And I just got this Pip and Pops bubble factory one this year. So I will link as many of them as I can down below. A lot of them are available on Amazon. And I just really thought it had a little bit of a Disney vibe to it to be able to do the teacups. So the mantle is another big part. We actually hung these great big stockings that were a gift from my mom. I have no idea where they're from, so I cannot link those. I always put a bunch of elves on there as well as some garland and some fairy lights. And then it's almost as though the elves are hanging this like laundry line of Santa's clothing over top of the fireplace. It's very cute and I love it. So one tree that was a new addition this year is the one in the basement. So you might've seen it in a couple of my morning routines or when I'm in the gym in the morning, but this was very country themed. I picked up this little furry ornament, ornament from Disney World. It's like country Minnie Mouse. And the skirt is from Michael's. The sled is from my brother. And I ended up getting these glittered kind of logs from Home Goods, which I loved. And the tree went really, really well. That's from Michael's. And then I got this little plaid Santa gift bag, which holds two wine bottles in it. It's so cute. And I put a couple gift boxes down there as well. 
Then we have the two Mickey topiaries, which I ended up getting from Lowe's. I will link them for you. You can get them on eBay. You can get them at Walmart, I'm pretty sure. But they're super cute. They're like these Mickey topiaries and the, link, the lights actually slowly blink on and off. And then I have a couple of different little details, including these like bells, the sleigh bells. And one thing that I always do is I fill this gigantic water jug with these candy garlands. So I just got a bunch of these candy garlands. I think there's like three or four of them that I stuff in there but intertwined into the garland. I would never even want to have to detangle this. It would be a nightmare, but intertwined in there is three sets of fairy lights. And I put the light switches for them, the remotes at the top of it. So the cover for this water jug actually covers it. And once it's all turned on, it just looks like a bunch of lit up candies in the water jug. And it's really cute and very festive and totally matches with our Candyland theme. So then I ended up decorating more than ever the coffee area in our kitchen. So I ended up getting these little candle holder garlands, I guess you would call them, to go on the candlesticks. Those were new from this year. Same thing. Those are from the day in the life, the shopping day in the life. And I put those at the top of our coffee bar area. So I knew that I wanted to do a coffee tray. I got this Mrs. Claus Cookie Co. sign, which was very me and very peppermint and very themey. These little... These are actually candle holders. They look like little candies and they each hold a tea light in them. So I had this beautiful coffee tray from my mom that she actually got me for my bridal shower, which went so perfectly with the theme. And I just went to town. I started figuring out how I wanted to theme it. There was a lot of Ray Dunn stuff, a lot of these little marshmallow themed containers. And we had these super cute little sugar cubes that are shaped like Mickey Mouse that we got from the Yacht Club. They were actually a gift from a couple amazing cast members at the Yacht Club. And so I used those to fill in the cream and in the sugar. And then I put a couple different mugs. I had some mini candy canes. I had my little gnome and it just worked out so well. I also got this little container of the Abominable Snowman, some candy cane sticks and some little snowflakes. That was from Michael's and I just topped some of the containers with that. It turned out really, really well. That little candy cane type of stand thing on the top layer is from Michael's. So I really stuck to the same theme. Everything is red and white. And on the other coffee tray, so we have two, we have one at the opposite end of the kitchen. I ended up doing a ton of Ray Dunn stuff. And then in the little marshmallow containers on that side, I have two more on that side, I ended up cutting up a garland, a candy garland, and I just used all the fake candies to fill that up and that worked out really, really well. And then a ton of Ray Dunn stuff as well and some candy canes. And I got these Mickey Mouse cupcake ornaments. I have a pink one that's upstairs in the pink tree, which I will show you. And this red one, I just took the ribbon off of it, like the hook to hang it on the tree. And I just used it as a decoration to sit on the tray. The tray itself is from Home Goods, which I love. And in the middle of the island, I have this Ray Dunn cake stand, which was originally on the bar cart. It didn't work out because it just didn't have enough of an impact on there. So I ended up putting that on the island. And I got these tiny little Ray Dunn espresso mugs later on this month. So that's why it really is a compilation of the entire month. Like everything was a growing progress of the decoration of the entire house. Those little espresso cups were so cute. I got four of them and I filled them with candy canes. We also made a trip to Bulk Barn. I'm pretty sure Bulk Barn is Canadian, but it's basically a massive candy store. So we got a bunch of candies to fill in all of these containers. So those marshmallow containers, anything that is, you know, a little cuppy to fill. I also needed some marshmallows, like real marshmallows. So I found these dandies, which are vegan marshmallows that are peppermint flavored. They're amazing. I tried them for the first time tonight. Incredible. So I just filled some of my cups with those. So you can see the two mini cups there, the gulp and sip. And I think there's one in it that's slurp and drink, sip, gulp. There was four of them. And then that's a Mickey cookie holder, which we actually use to fill with our pods of coffee. So the coffee trays are in full effect in our kitchen and so amazing. And I've shared both of them, I think, on my Instagram page. 
and I've linked a lot of them on my like to know it as well which I will link down below for you guys which just shows where everything is from so then in our powder room on our main floor I have this adorable little candle that says Christmas it smells so good and I feel like it's just the right size and the font on it is really cute and then I always put these little napkins so I got like these Santa Claus napkins and then I have three Ray Dunn vases that I filled with candy canes and these like whimsical little sticks that I got in the floral department at Michael's. And then these snow covered rose petals as well as the branches are all from Home Goods in that vase. I just thought it was really pretty and they're very sparkly and very twinkly once the lights turn on. And then I put a couple pine cones in that wooden tray. Then right next to that room is my office. I've done a full video on this winter white wonderland tree which i love this tree was so fast to decorate but i think it's one of the most beautiful ones in the house it's very simple but so beautiful so i have some rose gold branches on the side and a ton of winter white decor in there there were many cups of coffee poured throughout this entire video so we poured ourselves a good cup of coffee and we got to work I ended up turning on I'll Be Home for Christmas, which is an amazing Christmas Disney movie if you've never seen it. So back to the office. One thing that I decorated was the shelves in my office with this multicolored fairy light, which I absolutely love. And all my shelves have a bunch of elves on them. And then I wanted to take you guys to the exterior. So I actually kept this footage from me at Michael's going full savage and grabbing the rest of these bins. This was on Black Friday. I grabbed all the rest of the bins that they had because I thought they were so cute. They're like these farm fresh, Christmas tree type of bins and I swapped out the exterior rug from the black and white one that you guys might see in the fall to a red and black one which I just got off of Amazon I will link it for you guys and I had these crates as well as those little tin bins that I picked up at Michael's I filled them with some natural leaves. I had this lantern that I got at Home Goods that I actually ended up putting a massive candle in. So these tins, I actually had to fill them with water and let them freeze so that they would be heavy enough to stay still in any winds because we do have some legit snowstorms here. And there's some, those are fresh berries in there. It was, it's very cute. So I want to take you guys out there today. So this was actually filmed today and this is how much more snow there is outside, but everything is still in place. Everything is still alive and well, and it actually looks really, really cute. I need, I told Andre today, I need to take an Instagram picture out there before everything is done. But so that candle is lit and it looks so good. And in the entrance, I have this tree that's from Restoration Hardware. This was our first Christmas tree that we had in our condo. And it's very, it's like ultra modern, but there's a little bit of snow on it and it just has lasted. So I added this little pillow that I got at Home Goods that I absolutely have. It's like a postcard from Santa on this little bench in our front entrance. So we have a nice little front entrance type of feel. and Carl is all about it. So he loves the front balcony, but what I love about the front balcony this time of the year is we put a real Christmas tree out there. So we don't have a real Christmas tree inside, but we put one right on the front balcony and I got this beautiful red tree collar for it at Michael's, like an aluminum tree collar, and that's the bright red thing that you see underneath. So it covers all of the, the pot and like the yuckiness of it. So if you need an idea for that, that's a really good, great find that I found this season. Then upstairs in our bedroom, we have the pink, whimsical Candyland Whoville tree, which is all pink and teal and filled with gingerbread and cupcakes and ice cream cones. It's totally over the top, but I love it. It's very Angie. There's some Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse little Disney finds in there as well. And on the side, I have this little bin with the, all the extra ornaments in there. And I put a little pink elf on the side as well. One of my favorite parts of our house, as well as at Christmas, is this banister. It's a huge job to do, but I've kind of figured it out and mastered it this year. So there's two different types of garland that go up. I have four regular types of garland. There is so much glitter and I use this wire. This green wire is like the best key to the success of it. So I put four pieces of the regular garland up there and then I have like this icicle, beautiful garland that goes up. And then I have my elf tree at the bottom that connects to the lights on the garland. So everything is tied into the lights that go all the way upstairs. So there's no wire running across anywhere. And then I have some elves that are basically sliding down the banister. And I have this 
Candyland type of ribbon that is holding everything together. So that elf tree, I did a full video on it. It was one of the first videos of the season. If you haven't seen it, of course, I will link it. But it's chaotic, but it, I love it because it goes with the style of the banister. And it also matched with the rest of the living room. So the tree that was already in the living room was obviously the main tree, the Candyland tree, which is a little bit Disney, a little bit candy, a little bit Candyland peppermint twist. And I have that new Mickey tree topper. And I feel like I'm already hinting at some giveaways that are about to happen for the rest of the month, which I will be announcing. Stay tuned, because there's gonna be a giveaway announced in a couple seconds. So this main tree, I did a full video on this as well. I actually have a couple videos on it, but this main tree is probably one of the most known trees in our house. It's how I started with my chaos of Christmas and it's been years and years and years in the making and I just love it. It probably takes long to decorate. And then I mimicked it this year with an elf tree that also is kind of pepperminty. And we also added in gnomes this year as well as the lantern, the Mickey lantern. I always have my little floor pillow. I got it from Society6 and I keep my little slippers on there. One thing that I needed to add that I shared this in a recent video, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't have my table runner out. So I got this adorable table runner that is two-sided. So I have a peppermint side as well as like this beautiful North Pole Santa will be arriving on December 24th. It's so cute. So I have that that I always have on the table. So I just set that up and I lit my candles. And by lit, I mean flicked on my candles that I put down the middle of the table, which just really set the tone for the day. This was one of my favorite finds this season. It was so reasonable. I almost bought it in a store for $100 and I found it on Amazon for 40. I'm obsessed with that little snow globe. I love it. And this elf, I love him. Same thing, amazing find. He was like, I think he's originally at $300 and I paid 50 for him. And this blanket, you guys, I bought it today at the Disney store. And Andre and I looked at each other and we were like, we need that. And Andre said, you should get a second one for a giveaway. And I was like, yes. So there's, it's Sherpa lined on one side. There is a gold rope lining. There's a Mickey mini on it. And it's like this super soft red snowflake pattern. It's literally, it's everything. I just looked at it and I was like, I need it. And not only that, I need to get it for someone else. <laughs> so that's going to be the next giveaway item. You can, you can copy me and have it in your house as well. So we will be shipping that out at the end of this week to one lucky subscriber. All you have to do is be subscribed and make sure that you're following on Instagram and just be the most engaged subscriber and follower. Just make sure that you're liking and commenting and participating just being the most positive, engaged person. So as you can see, the house really transformed. One thing that we always do is we have some music going. I will leave you guys with a couple of ideas on my stories on my Instagram of how we play our music throughout the house. We don't just use Apple Music or Spotify. We actually do it through YouTube and it's very Disney and very merry. So I will share that with you guys. I wanna actually share the one that we were listening to today. It's so beautiful. So not only does this stay up on your TV, but the music was so perfect. It's like Magic Kingdom Christmas vibes. And this little piece was a gift from my parents, but I'm pretty sure I'd be able to find it and link it for you guys. And then my moving elf, I love him in my elf tree. He climbs up and down the ladder and he lights up and he sings and he's just incredible. And all of these elves are an accumulation over the years, but most of them can be found on Amazon and different websites. So I will try and link as many as I can down below. And this is the banister situation. So these are all kind of sliding down the banister. I feel like I haven't really shared that yet. So I wanted to show you guys what that looked like along with that peppermint ribbon. So I brewed myself another cup of coffee in my Grinch mug, which I don't feel like anybody has seen yet. And I put my feet up and I felt like it was a well-deserved relaxation. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure that you subscribe, hit the bell for notification, give this video a thumbs up if you loved it, and I will see you guys tomorrow.